So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. iPhone 10R 2022, December. This is the December review here, right before 2023. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up in three, two, go and see how long it does take to turn on. Now the Apple iPhone 10R is a 2018 iPhone and I wanna revisit it here just to kind of see how it's performing in this late 2022. These phones can now be had well under $300. And if you're looking for maybe a backup iPhone or maybe something to try out iOS, you're an Android user a long time, you don't wanna invest in the ecosystem just yet, this might be a solid option. So that took about 20 to 23 seconds to turn on. That's not too shabby for being the age that this iPhone is. The iPhone 13 Pro Max, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, these devices don't turn on that much faster than even the older iPhone XR. So that's a pretty good thing about this so far. Now I actually did just update this to iOS 16.1.2. There is going to be more updates coming obviously. 16.2 is on the way. The major, you know, features are probably coming to the newer iPhones, but it's still nice that even 4 years later here you are still running the latest version of iOS. So let's talk about the body and the build really quickly. So the iPhone 10R was kind of that phone that really brought the colors back since the iPhone 5C days. And then the iPhone 10R was carried on into the iPhone you know, 12. We had the iPhone 11, we had the iPhone you know, 14, 13. They kind of carried this out with their aluminum edges, colored backs. But something I really appreciate about the 10R was just the you know, nice single camera lens, just the clean overall build. The price point was right. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people really did not like the display though because it wasn't sharp enough for a lot, but then the iPhone 11 came along and people loved that and had basically the same display. So this is 60 Hertz. So that means that this panel will perform just like an iPhone 14, but let's take a look at some applications. Let's open some stuff up and see how it does perform. So we're in the app store here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off dark mode for just a minute and just kind of go through some applications, see how things open up. And I can tell you that the 10R's battery life used to be one of the best. As these newer updates have come out, it's still good, it's still actually very good, it can get through a day. But it gets a little warmer than it used to and it doesn't really last quite as long. But you can see we opened up that pretty easily. Let's go shopping really quickly or check out some events going on here. You can see, maybe I wanna go to the spa see everything doing just fine here let's go ahead and scroll over here let's go check out what apple's got right now in their app you know apple store here see what's for sale you can see definitely pretty good we'll head into ebay we'll check out the iphone 10r i'm just trying to give you a real world look at the performance here so far and you can see it's not really slowing down anybody on the day to day check this out you can get an iphone 10r for 185 now i mean this probably blows away some Android phones at 180. I'm not gonna say all of them because some of them do have triple cameras and stuff, but you're not getting the latest version of iOS either. So yeah, 10Rs can be had ridiculously low right now. And considering these phones were $700 devices, I mean, it's probably a steal of a deal if you are just looking to have your first experience trying iOS out and you just wanna try the latest software and you're not ready to fully commit to Apple just yet, not saying this is the top recommendation, you still have only 4G on here, not the best reception strength, but I think you can see right here with this Apple A12, the A12 is still doing just fine here in 2022. As a matter of fact, it's doing more than fine. I would say it performs well. Let's go over to Geekbench 5. You can see Apple A12 Bionic clocked in at 2.49 gigahertz with three gigabytes of RAM. Now going through applications, you can see there was a little delay in my December 2022 review on the iPhone 10, but here on the 10R, having slightly better CPU definitely means that we do have less of a problem there. Now, when you are going through applications on here, you might actually start to reload things on this device. So do keep in mind that this phone with its three gigabytes of RAM, most iPhones, if you have a lot open at that RAM, will reload. Now in terms of display, I want to touch on that a little bit as well. This does still get plenty bright, you know, even some of the newer iPhones while they're all like 800 is now, this was still like 650. So indoors it was still plenty bright enough. It struggled a little bit outdoors. 
and the sharpness overall wasn't top of the line. So if you're looking for the sharpest text and things like that, you will notice this is not as sharp when you put it next to something like a pro device, something like that. So keep that in mind if you're looking for the sharpest text out there. It's not that, but if you keep it a distance from your face, you probably wouldn't notice. So that's okay. Now the notch definitely is the original notch from the iPhone 10. A lot of people like this one because it's kind of up and off out of the way. So that's not too horrible either. So overall, I would say that, you know, if you're going to use this for media and stuff like that, it's still going to do a fine job. It really is. I mean, you don't really got to worry too much about that. It's going to do a fine job here with that stuff. It's just not overly saturated. It's not super punchy, anything like that. And by the way, the iPhone logo still remains on the older iPhone 10R right here. And you do have a SIM card tray. They're taking that away on the new iPhones, angering and annoying a lot of people. Now, in terms of software, you probably do have another year or so of updates on here, maybe two years left. So there is some life left in the tank here for the iPhone 10R. So don't worry too much about that. And when it comes to the actual software experience, you are experiencing essentially the same thing an iPhone 14 user will experience sans the camera. So I say this every year, but basically that is the difference. The camera is the difference. You don't got all those same features that you're going to find in the iPhone you know, 14 and stuff. The video looks a little bit older, just kind of the look overall, just a little bit of an older kind of look to the camera system. But on the whole, you still get pretty good results, still usable results and still 4K 60 with a pretty good front facing camera. Although this is not your iPhone 11 upgraded camera on the front, it did a pretty good job. I was actually, I'm very happy with the 10 R's results. Even now they still perform well enough. And again, at, at this price point, the iPhone 10R is still a better camera than I think even some of those triple camera cheap Android phones. Like it has a really good lens on the back and on the front. So that's a really good thing about this. You can get a cheaper, older iPhone and snag a really good camera on it as well. Now I want to move on to talking about the battery life with this phone because you know, this is one thing, especially if your battery health is not top, like mine's at 96, it's pretty good, but if you're like 80s and stuff like that, this one does drain. I do find the warmth of this phone kind of heating up right around here a little bit more than I used to. So on the whole, if you're looking for, you know, the best battery life, the 11 is probably a little bit better, but this will still make it through a day and it performs better than the iPhone 10. Now, I do want to say something else about this phone. They do have the 6.1 inch size, but the bezels on the 10 R kind of feel a little bit dated at this point because they have thinned out the bezels on this phone and the phone kind of even for a 6.1 inch device does feel a little bit, you know, bigger, thicker than like the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13, for example. So this one, not quite as compact to hold. It feels like a bigger phone, honestly, um, not quite as big as a 10s max, but still up there. I will say though, if you are looking for a better phone call experience, better reception strength, this was not the best out there. They really improved this on the iPhone 12 specifically. The 11 wasn't a major upgrade here, but definitely this is 4G phone, doesn't have the best reception strength, and it doesn't have, you know, the best internet speeds out there. So that's something you would sacrifice using this device. Buttons do feel tactile though here in December 2022, and the curvy design can be reminiscent of an older experience, but there are rumors that the 15 might have some curb action to it, so maybe it's not so bad after all. And um, you can get this in multiple colors here, the iPhone XR, right? Specifically like the red, I got rid of the red. This is the coral version right here though. They do have, you know, like white and yellow, blue. So there's definitely a lot of color options here for iPhone XR. And um, yeah, it's there's not much more else to say about it. The audio was solid, although I did find the speakers a little bit tinnier than some of the pro devices and stuff like that, but they're still solid. This phone overall, you know, in December 2022, it held up. It really did. It was a solid, I mean, it's a solid piece of machinery right here. You can just see thick aluminum on the edges. We kind of knew the 10R was going to be a long lasting good device here. And surprisingly, if this was the only iPhone I had to use today, it's still very usable. That's pretty cool to say, considering this came out in 2018. And what I recommend it, yes, if you're looking for an older iPhone on a deal and you just want to try out iOS, you want to try out the iPhone experience and you want something bigger like the 14. I mean, you could snag one of these for like 180. Like, come on. I mean, 
you're getting new iPhones at eight, nine hundred thousand dollars. I mean, this is like a 70% discount for basically 70% of what the experience of a newer one would be. So 10R, man, it did well. It's solid. The 11 even better, but it's okay. It's not that bad. There is some stutters here and there, but it's, it's pretty overall, it's super usable still here in 2022. And you've seen that throughout this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you're picking up a 10R, if you've held on to your 10R specifically since it launched and you're ready to upgrade, or you're just gonna hold on to the 15 series models. Let me know how it's going for you. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here. Be sure to be well. I'll catch you all in the next episode and peace.